On question number seven, there are multiple correct answers, but make sure they all differ by negative 10. So it doesn't matter what number you start by, as long as the next number goes down by 10 and the number of that goes by, down by 10 and so on. On number eight, it seems kind of confusing, but if we just think about what a common difference is, so from x plus 8 to 4x plus 6, notice you're going from 8 to 6. We're going down by 2. And then we're going from x to 4x, so we're going up by 3x. So my common difference is 3x minus 2. But then when I look at from 4x plus 6 to 3x, Notice I'm going down by x, and I'm going down by 6, aren't I? Because 4x minus x equals 3x, 6 minus 6 is 0. Well, these are my common differences. They have to be the same. So that's where I, I get an equation out of that. In other words, 3x minus 2 equals negative x minus 6. So now what we can solve for x, so we'll add x to both sides. At the same time, we will add 2 to both sides. So then we get 4x equals negative 4, divide both sides by 4, x is negative 1. That's how we get the negative 1 answer there. And number nine, I want to know, are these arithmetic sequences? So it's kind of the same. From 2x to 3x, looks like I'm going up by x, aren't I? 1 to 1 doesn't change. Do I go up by x from 3x plus 1 to 4x plus 1? Sure I do. So there is a common difference, so that's my sequence. So I'm just going to add x each time. So 4x plus x, or 4x plus 1 plus x is 5x plus 1. Add x, we get 6x plus 1. Add x, we get 7x plus 1. Now on number 10, from 2x to 4x, we're going up by 2x. From 4x to 8x, we're going up, up, up by 4x. There's a pattern here, but it's not arithmetic. Okay, We're multiplying, not adding. So there's no common difference unless x would be 0, because then it everything would be 0, your common difference would be 0.